Hey everyone, my name is Harjay Hakis. I'm with the Hakis Art and Custom Framing. We're in San Diego, California. But we get uh, jerseys shipped to us from uh, all over the states. And uh, actually, we just got our first uh, international customer. This lady found us online, and we just got a jersey from her sent from uh, Switzerland. So we're excited about that. And I'll tell you more about that in a separate um, video. But let me show you what we have here in this box. Um, I'm extremely excited because this is my old time favorite athlete. setting performance his 51st touchdown pass <laughs> Peyton Manning the most passing yards for the single season NFL record you'll break a couple more all-time records Peyton Manning now has more touchdown passes than any other player in NFL history Peyton Manning has the most passing yards in NFL history so we have a beautiful uh, Peyton Manning signed jersey from the University of Tennessee and uh, just a you know just a beauty he's he's by far my um, all-time favorite athlete uh, I think he revolutionized the game of uh, football and the position of quarterback uh, he was kind of a coach um, on the field and and it was just amazing his career and he got two Super Bowls Wish it could have gotten more, but uh, that's how it works. Uh, but again, we're gonna we're delighted to be working on a Peyton Manning. It's a it's a you know it's an amazing signature. It has 18 from his uh, NFL career, and of course 16 from the University of Tennessee, and it's just you know just unbelievable. Uh, so the customer contacted us. He saw the work that we did that we do online. And he said, I want you guys to work on this jersey for me. And so we started talking and I, you know, I asked him if he wanted to get patches or a photo of Peyton Manning. And he said, no, 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 let's just go with the jersey. Very clean, very classy, just like Peyton, I guess. And, um, and so that's what we're going to do, right? So we're going to, we went back and forth on the colors that we wanted to use for the matting. And we settled on... Uh, white as a backing and so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out a way to uh, you know fold the sleeves and uh, for the top mats so as you've seen me show be this before you know we have a catalog that kind of guide us you know through the colors of all the universities football basketball hockey and so forth and as you can see there is the university of tennessee they have a uh, blaze orange, they have white, and then they have a uh, suede uh, that's also white. And so we kind of went back and forth and we said, well, if we just go with that, um, you know, we don't know how it's gonna look. And so this is sort of the, the orange that, um, that is the official color, but we don't wanna put this on top. I think it'll be, you know, too much orange and so we started kind of talking to the customer and it turns out that the University of Tennessee, they also have this uh, gray, kind of a dark gray color that they use. And so this is what we're gonna use for the top mat. And then we're gonna use this as an accent underneath and it's gonna be mounted on white. So as you can see, it's gonna look really, really nice, very clean, kind of like the, um, Kobe Bryant that we did recently uh, where there's no matting really on top but we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to figure out a way to uh, create a little bit creatively mounted and expose the entire jersey this is not a very big jersey which is a good thing because we can actually expose the bottom if we wanted to uh, but again you know we're just kind of starting to think about this it all comes together when we start folding it, when we put it up against the easel and we start to, you know, sort of understand the jersey, how it folds and and uh, the type of design that we want to do top and 
along the side, uh, like right here, right? So I don't know if, we, if we're going to actually expose a little bit of white coming down here or if we're actually going to go over the jersey and not show any white. Uh, so again, we don't know until we start working on it. But I'm excited. Uh, huge fan of Peyton Manning. I was a Colts fan. Then I became a Broncos fan when, when he went to Denver. I was so happy he won Super Bowl 50. And um, I think he deserves, obviously, all the, uh, all the great things that, uh, that he's accomplished uh, throughout his career. So we're excited. We're going to get to work. As we always do, I'm going to come back and show you the progress. And uh, we'll get this thing done and show you the final product before it ships. I forget, but I think it's going to Detroit, so he has fans all over the state. All right, back in a little bit. Hey, everyone. So we are making really good progress on the uh, Peyton Manning University of Tennessee sign jersey. And uh, we've actually figured out the overall size of it and mounted it. Let me go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see. I'm not sure if I sit this at the beginning, but uh, we are mounting this on a beautiful white suede, just kind of letting the jersey, you know, be there suspended. Uh, so we're not doing anything fancy. The customer didn't want to include any patches or a photo of Peyton Manning or anything that we're normally used to doing. So it's really just kind of sitting there. Um, I'm going to get close so you guys could hopefully see the beautiful suede, the, the white suede. It's just really nice. Um, we did something a little different for the sleeves. You know, it's not your typical fold right here where it's supposed to fold. We've actually extended it. We tried different looks. We didn't like the way that looked. And then we're kind of tucking the, the sleeve back and we're just kind of letting it hang. We really like the the way that we did the Kobe Bryant with the, uh, you know, with the letter that he wrote to his fans at the bottom, kind of an oval type of shape as opposed to a sharp straight across. So again, we're doing good. We're working on the design of the, uh, the matting that goes over it, the spacers, the glass, museum glass, of course. And uh, the whole thing is going to look really good. Uh, we're going to keep at it for a few hours. We're going to add all those things. And then uh, we're going to finish it and come back and show you the final product. But it's looking really, really good. Back in a little bit. Hey, everyone. So we've been working on this uh, Peyton Manning jersey from the University of Tennessee for a few days now. And uh, we think we're done. And boy, it looks terrific. Uh, really like it. You know, it's, it's not our typical jersey where we put patches and photos and, and we do a lot of, you know, design. But this one was supposed to be clean and classy. And, uh, and this is why we, you know, we sort of came up with this. And let me go ahead and show you, you know, full frame right here, what it looks like. And then I'm going to get a little close, give you a uh, final tour of some of the things that we added. And... Uh, you know, sort of the motivation behind the design, but that's what it looks like. I want to get close. Uh, this customer wanted us to sort of pull out all the stops, if you will. So instead of mounting it on just a regular white uh, paper-based mat, uh, he actually chose to mount it on a white suede. And I don't know if you could tell, but there's a beautiful texture right there, fabric. And suede always looks good uh, next to fabric because they're both fabric, really. And so that's really nice right there. Uh, for the design around the shoulders and the collar, we wanted to create kind of a Hall of Fame look. And so we follow the contour a little bit, and then we went, uh, created a sort of an elongated oval right there. The other thing that we did, this is kind of a, you know, one of those types of uh, fabric uh, for the jersey where the you know, it just kind of falls, right? So the collar just kind of kept falling on us and couldn't kept it uh, up like that. And so I created a little insert right there that makes it look uh, or makes it pop. And I think it looks really, really cool. You know, this jersey, it's a, it's a really bright orange. And so coming up with the collar combination for the matting was no easy task, 
right? Because you don't want to go more orange because uh, it'll be too strong. And you don't want to go white either on top. And so, you know, the customer suggested that we look into a uh, kind of a dark gray and that's what we did. And I'm happy we did that because I think it looks really, really cool. The inside accent though, we did come back to the orange. This is the official color for the University of Tennessee. And so I think the whole thing just looks really, really cool. Uh, he really wanted to go all the way again. So we went with museum glass. That's why you see, you know, almost no reflection whatsoever. The little bright thing you see that that's my lighting that I use for recording the videos. The other thing that I want to point out is we kind of went with the taper look towards the bottom. So kind of we start with full, you know, jersey and we kind of taper it down. And I kind of like that look because I wanted to show a little bit more of the white suede behind the jersey. And uh, hopefully you like that as well. And then at the bottom, we didn't want to end it with just kind of a sharp rectangular corner, but rather we went with the, uh, kind of an oval corner. We kept that oval shape kind of down as we uh, folded the jersey back. And then the suede, the uh, sort of the matting design, um, I decided to go with uh, kind of a contrasting oval the opposite way. And I think it looks really, really cool. Again, the whole thing just looks really nice. Wanted to fold the sleeves in a way that they wouldn't be in the way that we could really enjoy the jersey front and center. And uh, I like it a lot. So I wanted to show you one final tour. That's what it looks like before we put it in a box. Um, you know, when it's glass like this and it's going to ship, we try to be as careful as we can. So we're going to put some time into the box and, and uh, I think it's going to Michigan, I forget. Uh, but we want this to be safe. But thank you so much for watching our stuff. Uh, hopefully you like it, getting some really good feedback. And uh, if you guys have any jerseys for us to frame, you can ship them to us. Um, you know, the, the, you can find the uh, information, contact information in the description. And then subscribe to us. Um, if you like what we're doing, follow our journey. We're really, uh, we're really enjoying working on these jerseys and documenting uh, the journey as well. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.